Hey guys, Smart Dog School here. I wanted to show you some images of Booker and a little bit of what he's been up to. Here in this video, we're doing a uh, session here in my garage in my home. And uh, we're focusing on the three R's that we focus on for our core concepts of Smart Dog School. The three R's at Smart Dog School are really simple to remember. Uh, the first R is restraint. That is when a dog is placed on a leash and asked to have manners on that leash no matter what context they're in, no matter where they're at. The second R is recall. As you can tell, that's what I just did there, recalling the dog from a place board to you. And anytime they're out in public, they're gonna be expected when you say their name and come, that they need to come straight to you, close enough where you can touch them and go into a seated position. And the third R is relax. Everybody understands what that means, but a lot of times they have trouble getting their dogs to relax. So we use elevated place boards that we refer to as fixed space. And we like to send them to those on a reg regular basis while we do other things around our house. We also call that inclusion training, but the focus of place boards is not necessarily just to go to it and stay on it like a downstay would be, but more importantly, they need to go to it, lay their head down, relax, and go into a real calm state of mind so that we can really focus on other things other than them. So they're gonna stay there for a couple reasons. Number one, they know we're coming back. But number two, they know that once we do come back, all the good things happen, okay? So this is Booker. He's been with us now for, I think this is his second week he's going on. A uh, session like this may take anywhere from five to ten minutes, but uh, we had a great time. So here he is posing out on my street. Another thing he had issues with that we wanted to check on was when he was around cars, moving cars, he, um, he got a little anxious. Uh, his level of anxiety was really, really high, but it was really focused on separation anxiety. So here we're doing a structured walk, one of many. Uh, another cute picture of him out in front of my neighborhood, and uh, that was a really nice picture. Here is uh, where we set up a, um, a little bit of a training session on the main road. Uh, I'm about 10 feet from him. He's on a six-foot line, and he's simply watching the cars pass now. I believe he's able to do this because of his anxiety has been lowered. Um, the... You know, the purpose for anxiety is simply because they don't know what's going to happen. And here, I believe he knows exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to recall him and reward him when he gets to me. So anyway, guys, that's Booker. And uh, we highly appreciate you watching our videos. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us, email us, or just give us a shout. Um, my email address is randy at smartdogschool.com. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we hope to see you guys soon. Take care.